Hello, I'm Martin Looker. Welcome to another Silicon Labs video. This video will be a bit different to previous videos where we focused on showing you how to use one particular piece of Silicon Labs technology. Instead, in this video, I'll be showing you how to make use of our new Ask AI Assistant. This assistant can provide information and guidance on using all Silicon Labs technologies. Ask AI has been trained on content from the main Silicon Labs website and our documentation website, plus knowledge base articles on the community and video content in our training library. To start asking the AI questions, look for the Ask AI button on our main website, scilabs.com, or the documentation website at docs.scilabs.com. Also look out for the button being added to our other websites in the future. The AI always provides results from all its information sources, regardless of the site you access the tool from. Let's ask about creating Matter over Thread applications. So let's take a look at the results that it's found. So it begins by telling us that we have a few options. We can make use of the Simplicity Studio IDE and describes that there's a Matter developer journey series that will walk you through the process, beginning with a Matter over Thread Lite tutorial. And it says we can find this on the Silicon Labs website. So let's take a quick look there. So in here, this has taken us to one of our training pages. And in here, there's a video that describes how to create a matter over thread light. And it's also useful that this is the first part of a series of videos that provides various methods to create matter applications. The second option that it offers us is to use the Arduino IDE. And again, it refers us to a video tutorial. Let's open that up quickly. So again, this is another video in the same series that we saw a moment ago, this time concentrating on how to use Matter over Thread in the Arduino IDE. It's also suggested we could develop on the command line by pulling resources from GitHub. And in this fourth bullet point, it said there are extra example applications that are available in a GitHub repository. So this is another resource that Ask AI has been trained on in the contents of the various GitHub repositories that we have that include additional example applications compared to those that are just built into Simplicity Studio. To wrap up, it also points us towards the hardware and the software that we'll need to some further documentation on those, and also links us through to some Matter Fundamentals information and a developer's guide. So this takes us to the documentation pages and we can explore through here all the ways that we can work with Matter through the documentation website. It's also pointing us to the downloads that we might need if we were going to work with Simplicity Studio or the Arduino IDEs. Before we move on and finish working with this question, we can provide feedback to the team that is looking after the Ask AI tool and the feedback will be used to improve the results in future iterations. We can either say this is a good answer or a bad answer. And because this is quite comprehensive, it's provided us links to a lot of resources that are relevant to the question we've asked. I'm going to click on good answer. And if we want to, you can provide some additional feedback here, such as how the answer helped you. Or if you say it's a bad answer, you could say why it was a bad answer. This is optional. So I'm just going to click X and this feedback will now go to the team. Next, I want to ask a question that's hopefully going to give me some code examples. So I'm going to ask, how do I set up Bluetooth advertising? So let's take a look at the results. It's saying there's a couple of options we might want to employ. The first one uses automatic advertisements. This is where the service IDs in the GAT database are added into the advertisement. Let's take a look at the recommended results. This has taken us to a knowledge based article on our community site that walks through Bluetooth advertising data basics. The second option that it suggests talks about custom advertising data that gives you more control of what appears in the advertisement. This time it's linked us to a page on the documentation site that walks through the advertising data format and various information around constructing advertisements for Bluetooth. 
The third result here describes how to set up the parameters if you're using an NCP, a network coprocessor setup. And finally, the fourth example actually gives us some example code that we could make use of to use standard BLE advertisements. So once again, we seem to have got a good set of results there with links to relevant information. So I'm going to mark this as a good answer. We hope that the Ask AI Assistant is a useful tool to find detailed information across Silicon Labs websites. Don't forget to provide feedback, positive or negative, on the results so we can continue to improve the AI. Thanks for watching.